how to create a new document in Adobe Photoshop CS6. We have the Adobe Photoshop CS6 application open here. If I go to file and then click on the new document or we could command through keyboard by pressing Ctrl and N. This will give us a dialog box. At first, you'll see in the dialog box there's a field called name where you want to type the name of the document you want to save it as. I'm typing Sysdeck Digital here to name it as. Now you have the field called preset. If you click on here, you'll see there are clipboard, default paper size, US paper, international paper, photo, web, mobile and devices, film and video and custom. This is where basically you choose whether in which media your document is going to be used for. We are selecting the international paper format. Then we need to choose the paper size here. If you click on here, there are options of A4, A6, B5 and others where we'll be selecting the A4 standard size for our document. Once you select this size, you will have the width option in generally millimeter unit by default. However, there are other units to choose from such as pixels, inches, centimeters and others. Mostly pixels and inches are widely used in Photoshop. We are using the inches here for the width. You will see the height automatically converts the unit in inches as we have chosen it for the width. Now again, if you choose to select a different paper size, that will give you the measurement of that size. Then comes the resolution and by default it will be 300. And the unit in pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter. We are choosing pixel per inch. And the pixel we will select as per the media our document is going to be used for. We can use 200 or 120 or whatever, depending on how big or small your document is going to be. Then the color mode. Usually RGB color are used for the website use. We are going to use CMYK as our document is going to be used for the print media. For the print media, we use either 8 or 16 bit. However, we will go with 8 bit. Then we need to choose the background contents. We can either choose white, transparent, or a particular background color. We are going to use white background color here. Then in the advanced options, we have here the color profile to select and the pixel aspect ratio. So, we have all the required informations filled up here and we press OK. Finally, we have the new document created that we wanted to and we can start our work or design on it. Now, on this new file, we can start working on any image or photo. To do that, at first, we'll drag an image onto the Photoshop new document and you'll see that it has created a new layer already. Now press and hold shift alter buttons and resize the image proportionally as you want. Here I'll make it bigger to fit to my created new document. Now I'll click on to the move tool to place the image on the layer. Now as the layer is not rasterized, keep your mouse pointer on the layer, click the right button of your mouse, go to rasterized layer option and click. Then you get a rasterized layer. Now let's select the crop tool from the toolbox and adjust the background layer to fit with the image that is placed on it and after resizing it click on the move tool and it will ask you if you want to crop the image click on crop now to save this file 
to your computer press shift control s or go to file menu select save as now from here choose the location of your computer where you want to save it i'm saving it to my desktop change the file name as you want to name it let's name it as systec digital and choose the format there are plenty of formats here we will go with the PSD format click on save okay so if you want to close your Photoshop file then click cross here and your file is closed if you want to reopen your previous file go to the location where your previous file was located okay so this is the file double click on the file the file is opening okay the previous file is open now thank you